Shall we all pray together? Our Father, which art in heaven, Father of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Father, we come to you because we realize we have nowhere else to go. Father, we come to you thanking you, Father, for this day, thanking you for this opportunity we have right now to come and sing praises unto your name and, and to worship you. We pray, Father, that you will find us doing just that, worshiping you in spirit and in truth, and pray that we might be able to blot out the cares of this world, that we might be able to give you your just praise. Father, we ask you now to please be with those who are sick, those who are shut in, those who are bereaved, those who are just sad at this time. We pray that you would just continue to bless them. Help us all, Father, to just continue to run this race that has been set before us. For we know, Father, that we are just pilgrims passing through and that this whole world is not our home. Just continue to guide us and keep us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. How y'all doing on this morning? Say it again. How y'all doing on this morning? Y'all all right? Somebody stole my mic. I don't know where it's at. If you see a mic with a blue, yeah. Oh, see? I knew it was, I ain't want to say nothing, but. Keep it up. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Now, I just, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Y'all doing all right on this morning, though? Yeah. Really? Why not y'all do something for me on this morning? If y'all can. I want everybody just close your eyes if you can on this morning. Y'all just, just close your eyes and keep them closed till, till I tell you open. I want you to just take a deep breath if you can. On the count of three, I want you to take a deep breath, but keep your, keep your eyes closed. One, two, three. Inhale. Exhale. There you go. Now I, now I want you to smile. I want you to keep your eyes closed and smile. Now y'all look, y'all smiling. Keep your eyes closed and smile. Big smile now. Now y'all look a little silly, but they say that helps to, when you close your eyes and smile, they say it puts you in a better mood. I don't know. But I just want to wake y'all up a little bit on this morning. If y'all didn't mind. Y'all gonna help me sing on this morning. Y'all sure? Y'all back sleep. Y'all gonna help me sing on this morning. Yeah. All right. Let us sing. I've a home prepared where the saints abide just over in the glory land. And I long to be by my Savior's side just over in the glory land. Well, just over in the glory land, I'll join the happy angels band just over in the glory land. Well, now just over in the glory land, there we with the mighty whole style stand. We're just over in the glory land. Come on, church. Well, I am on my way to those mansions fair. We're just over in the glory land. Yeah, yeah. Well, there to sing God's praise and his glory share. Just over in the Y'all want to go to the glory land, don't you? Well, now just over in the glory land, I'll join the happy angels band just over in the glory land. Well, just over in the glory land, there we the mighty host I'll stand just over in the 
glory land. With what a joyful thought that my Lord I'll see just over in the glory land. Well, and with kindred say there forever be there over in the glory Come on. land. Just, just over, just over in the glory land. I'll join the happy angels band. We're just over in the glory land. Well, just over in the glory, the glory land. There we the mighty host I'll stand just over in the glory land. One more time, just over, over in the glory, the glory land. I'll join, join the happy angels band just over in the glory land. Well, just over in the glory, the glory land. There with, there with, with the mighty host I'll stand. We're just over in the glory land. Amen, amen. Over in that glory land. Now we come down to the part of the service, which is prayer. Come down to the part of service, which is prayer. We want to ask if anyone needs prayer, that you please come down to the front. If anyone needs prayer, we ask that you please come down to the front, if you don't mind, as we sing. My God is awesome, he can move mountains, keep me in the valley, hide me from the rain. My God is awesome, heals me when I'm broken, strength where I've been weak and Church, help me right here. Say, my God is awesome. Oh, awesome. Oh, awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, my God is awesome. Yeah. Oh, come on, church. Give me a good to you, heaven. He's mighty, 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 he's migh
Church, sing it like you mean it. Say, my God is Come on, y'all. Yes. I can't hear you on this morning. Come on, y'all. Don't leave me hanging on this morning. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Well, say, my God is awesome. Yes, he is. Oh, awesome. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Time, one more time, say, my God is awesome. Come on, y'all, lift it up. Oh, awesome. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Let's get one more verse. Well, say, my God is awesome. Savior, Savior of the whole world. Giver of salvation, well, by his stripes I am here, well, say my God is awesome, today I, today I am forgiven, why, because his grace now, his grace said, oh, I am yeah, praise his holy name, well, 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 say my God is awesome, is he awesome, y'all? Sing it like he's awesome, y'all. Awesome. A little bit higher right now, right here. Say, my God is awesome. Say, oh, with power. Oh, awesome. We'll say, oh, oh, oh. Say, my God is awesome. Amen, amen. I'd like to say good morning. And uh, welcome, everybody, to the Blue Springs Road Church of Christ. It's been stated earlier at this time and set aside for those who may have prayer requests. It's not too late. Uh, the brothers up at the front will assist you if you need assistance. 
We ask that you come down front, fill out a form, or raise your hand. Are there any more prayer requests at this time? Our first request is uh, from Sister Lynette Jackson. She's praying for, asking for prayer for herself, for health. And also, she's giving thanks to the church for reaching out to her. Second, we have a prayer request from our sister Carolyn Rogers. She asks for a prayer for, request prayer for herself or health. She says, pray for me as I go to the doctor. Pray that all goes well concerning my health. Next, we have a prayer request from our sister Faith Tisdale. She requests prayer for Kyra Houston. She says she had her wisdom teeth moved, removed yesterday. Pray for her recovery. Next, we have a prayer request from our brother Kobe Johnson. He requests prayer for himself, for health, God, and spiritual strength. Traveling grace and counseling. He says that hope that my project, everything goes right with my project, and that the voices will go away. He also requests prayer for his family, for health, guidance, spiritual strength, and traveling grace. Next, we have a prayer request from my brother Stefan Walker. He requests prayer for Tamika Walker for traveling grace. She said, my wife is traveling to Orlando with her mom for the ladies' retreat. Pray for their safe passage and return. Also, our brother Stetton Walker requests prayer for uh, John Yarbrough. He says he's lost his way, will be in jail for a long period of time, approximately one month to two years. So pray for John Yarbrough. Next, we have a prayer request from our sister Gail Rice. She requests prayer for her mother, Henrietta Johnson. She says, I'm asking for prayer for traveling grace with my mom and all the ladies that will be traveling this week to Orlando, Florida, for the National Ladies Retreat. Please pray for safe travel there and back. That's all the prayer requests I have at this time. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Booker. I want to take this opportunity and thank all of those who thought it wise enough to come and make known to us that you need prayer. This is the place to come to. The Bible said that we are to pray for one another because the prayer of the righteous availeth much. Y'all sort of wonder what I'm doing up here moving these prayer requests around. When you get my age, you understand. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you so very much. The beautiful, a beautiful, beautiful audience. Before I get started here, I want to just thank Brother Tisdale. Brother, you're doing a good job for us. When this brother, the brother asked, give him, give him a hand. That's right. You're doing a good job. Good job. Good job. I remember the time when I was coaching, he one of my players. He run up down the football field tackling folk and everything. But you know what? He's a God given man. He working for the Lord. I like that, brother. You keep you keep up what you're doing. We appreciate you. Thank God for sending you our way. I want you to know that. And church, let's sing with him. I'm going to tell y'all, singing does something to me. I can't remember, but singing does something to me. Sometimes I feel like losing it. But they might say, Brother Parker, crazy. But I might just have to do that to let them say I'm crazy. That's right, it does something to me. Singing does something to me. I don't know about, but it just does something to me. It lifts my spirit, y'all. That devil is a bad motor scooter. I don't think he don't get in my heart. He get in your heart, too. That's right. But let's, let's, let's encourage one another, uplift one another. This, that's why we come here. We come here to be charged up, to be able to go back out and face that evil spirit. Because that's what he is. Always meddling our lives. He don't mess with the folks in the world. He mess with us. That's who he mess with. 
thank those who made the prayer request and we're going to talk to God on your behalf. Going to talk to God on your behalf. Beautiful audience. Got a chance to take some pictures with some beautiful babies this morning. I'm going to try to get them all. Yeah, if y'all see Brother Parker pose, they're going to be with the little babies, the little children. I like what Jesus said, for being not the little children to come unto me. I like that. All these little beautiful babies. That's wonderful. I just love it. I just love it. Let us bow. Our Father and our God, God, you are a wonderful God. We praise your holy and righteous name because you God of all gods. We petition you, Father, because you are our creator. Thank you, Father, for granting us this time and this place to be able to just give our all and all unto you because you're worthy. Father, I want to thank you for the precious soul who came forward and asked and requested prayer. The Walker family. Repressed in prayer for the with wife who will be traveling down to Orlando with her mother to the latest retreat. Be with them, Father. Be with Tamika Walker. Be with all of these who are traveling. Give them traveling grace. Thank you for that, for that spirit, Father. Just bless, bless that spirit. Father, thank you for Gail. Gail will be traveling also with her mother. They will be traveling to the, the lady retreat. Be with them, Father. Be with Gail in a special way. Be with her mother. Give them traveling grace. They may go in and be able to come back and be with their family. And, Father, we also have a request for John, Yar John Yarbrough. They said that he had lost his way, Lord, and that he would be in, incarcerated for many years. But I pray, Father, you would be with this individual, even though he had to suffer the consequence for the things that he'd done. May you continue to be with him and help him. May we continue to pray for this young man that he would do his time and come out and do what's right and serve you, Father. Even though he's incarcerated, may he, may he stay focused on you, Father. Help this family. Help the Yarbrough family, Father. Thank you for their request. And Father, Brother Kobe Johnson, come. Kobe, come request and pray for himself, for health, for guidance, for spiritual strength, for traveling. And also he mentioned counseling. He also asked in prayer for his family. Be with Kobe's spirit, Father. You understand what he's going through. I pray that we will continue to reach out with him, do what we can, to just encourage him to stay focused and do the right thing. Thank you for Kobe's spirit. Thank you, Father, for Faith Tizel, who asked in prayer for Kayla Horton. She's uh, will be going in for surgery. I pray, Father, that the surgery will go well and that she will recover well, whereby she can be about her daily tasks and doing those things which please you. Thank you for faith. And thank you for Kayla Horton, Father. And, Father, as we continue our prayer, we want to thank you, Father, for the prayer that Sister Roger made. She requests and prayer for health for herself. Father, she pray that, pray that all will go well as she journeyed to her appointment, that all will go well. And we, and we pray, Father, that all will go well with her. We love her. We know you love her. Pray that her husband will be with her and continue to comfort her. But we know, Father, you are the great physician. 
whatever is going on, be with Carolyn, help her. And I pray that all will be well with her. Thank you for her spirit. And Father, we continue our prayer for Lynette Jackson. Thank you for her, Father. And I pray, Father, that we will continue to reach out to her. She, she want to thank us for reaching out to her, and we're going to continue to do that because that's what the Christian life is all about. It's all about serving and doing for one another. And, Father, be with the Blue Spring Road Church of Christ in a special way and all the churches of Christ throughout the brotherhood. Help us to be that city that sits on a hill that cannot be hid. Help us to be that light that when it shine, darkness go away. Thank you, Father, for all that you do for us. Once again, be with those who are serving, who make decisions for our, for our country. Be with our president. Be with the congressmen and the senators, Father, as they, as they make decisions. Help them to, to just be, be, be humble. And do the right thing. Bless us all, Lord. And when it's all said and done, I pray that we have served thee well, and that'll be enough. Whereby you can give us a place, a home forever and ever with thee, and that'll be enough. Forever direct us and keep us. Continue to bless us and continue to be with us as we go through the rest of this service. May we give all praise and honor unto thee. Thank you for Jesus also, who paid the ultimate sacrifice. For it's in his name we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We will continue with the service. Amen. The brother Parker said, y'all better sing. So y'all better sing. Before we do anything else, Cameron uh, passed out out there, so you hear all the ambulance. That's, that's what's going on. I'm going to ask Brother Marvin. He will come and do a prayer for Brother Cameron and his family. Y'all keep them in prayer. They're going to go ahead and take him to the hospital. Shall we all pray together? Lord, that has been our dwelling place in all generations. Even before the mountain was brought forth, or ever thou hast formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thy God. Father, we come to you right now. Father, we know that you know every situation and you know every intent of our heart. And we come in right now, Father, asking you, Father, to please be with the Rice family. We pray a special prayer for Cameron. We pray for those who will be caring for him. And Pray that he might be quickly diagnosed, that he might be able to return to a reasonable portion of his, of his health and strength, and, and that pray that you would just uh, help them to overcome their anxiety and to realize that you are still in control. We thank you, Father, and we love you, and we just pray that you would just continue to bless us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Definitely want to keep them in our prayers on this morning. Y'all know uh, victory in Jesus. Y'all know that. Do y'all know the the other way of singing, and not the way in the book? Same lyrics, but we we kind of like uh, the other song we do. But I'm, I'm going to try it on this morning anyway. Y'all might know it. Y'all might know it. Who, who bass it? Lewis, you, you know it? Uh, <laughs> we still going to try it. I hope you with it. You get it. Well, I heard an old story how a Savior came from glory and how he gave his life from Calvary to save a wretch like me. 
like me and I heard about his groaning and of his precious blood atoning. And then I repented of my sins and won the victory. Oh, victory, victory in Jesus. My Savior forever, he sought me and he bought me with his redeeming blood. Uh, he loved me ere I knew him. him. And all my love is to him. He plunged me to victory. We need the cleansing flood. That's going to be one we'll just work on, y'all. Right. Right. We're going to work on that one. Got to get that practice going on. There's something you want to hear? Because I know the preacher's not going to be here next week. I know. I got my. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anything you want to hear, brother? We're going to sing uh, 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 Golden Crown. What you... Rise Above It All. They say Rise Above It All. I was going to say that one for Unk, but we're going to sing Rise Above It All then. Can y'all get that for me? Rise above it. I didn't mean to slow down the service. That song was on my heart on this morning. Rise above it all. With Jesus, you can rise above all. Do y'all really, I know a lot of us know, but a lot of people don't, don't know because a lot of us don't put our trust in them like we ought to. But anything and everything that you're going through, I'm telling you, with Jesus, you can rise above it all. Let's sing that. My friends may press me down and turn my glad to say God didn't say that this life would be easy always. So when you knock me down, come on, church, I will never gonna ever frown. I'm gonna put my hands in the master's hand Cause one day it'll all come to the end Well, I'm gonna rise, rise, rise above it all I'm gonna rise, rise, rise above it all gonna take wings and fly away to heaven i'm gonna rise above it all this world is so full of evil and the enemies are all Satan has tried so very, very hard. He's trying to hold, yes. He's trying to keep me down, yeah. But I've got something within me, yeah, church. Well, it's going to help me through, through the rain. Well, and when it gets rough. I know it's gonna get tough. I don't worry at all. Cause I'm gonna rise, 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 rise above it all. I'm gonna rise, rise, rise above it all. I'm gonna take wings, fly away to heaven. Yes, I'm gonna rise above it all. 
Let's sing that verse again. Well, this world is so full of evil. I know you see it on TV all the time. And the enemies are all around. Yeah. Satan has tried. He's trying. So very, very hard. He's trying to hold. He's trying to keep me down. But I've got something within me. This is going to help me through the rain, y'all. And when it gets rough, and when it gets tough, I don't worry at all. Because I'm going to rise, yeah, yeah, rise above it all. Yes, I'm going to rise, y'all, rise, rise, rise above it all. I'm going to take wings, y'all, and fly away to heaven. I'm going to rise above it all. Hey, now, don't you want to rise? Stay on your feet. Yes. Yes, I'm going to rise. Yes, yes, I'll rise. Oh, I know Jesus is standing near. I don't fear y'all. I'm going to rise up, rise above it all. Yeah, yeah. I say, don't you want to rise? Yes, when you're going through, yes, yes, one of these days, y'all, I won't have to cry no more, I'm gonna rise, yeah, yeah, come on, cry, I want y'all to sing to me, well, don't you wanna, don't you wanna rise, Just the crowd right now. Just the crowd. Right? Come on, y'all. Rise. Yeah, yeah. Rise, rise above it all. Ooh, Come on, y'all. Y'all got it. Want y'all to uplift one another on this morning. Rise above it all. We all going through it right now, y'all. Sing it again. Well, don't you want to rise? Rise. Yeah. Rise. Rise above it all. When you're going through, rise. Rise. Yeah, yeah. Rise, rise above it all. One of these days, y'all, we'll be in heaven. No more troubles, y'all, we'll rise. Yeah, one more time, y'all can be seated. Oh, yes. Don't you want to rise? Yes, rise. Above it all. Well, we'll rise, rise, yeah, yeah, rise, rise, above rise above it all. I'm gonna take wings and fly away to heaven. I'm gonna rise above it all. Oh, oh, oh. I seen one more. He said, I got to pick you up now. He said, chili wind. <clears throat> hold on, hold on. <laughs> chili wind. Let me get a drink of water. <laughs> you going to rise. That's true. Rise above it all. Yes, sir. Yeah. When we rise, we're going to go where the chilly winds. Yeah. Those troubles. Yes, sir. Them heartaches, them pains. Yeah. All that stuff that go on down here. Yeah. One day we're going to hide behind that mountain. Yes, sir. 
I'm gonna hide behind her behind the mountain. Well, I said I'm gonna, yeah. Well, say hide behind the mountain. Well, I said I'm gonna hide, yes. Well, say hide behind the the mountain. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, I know, I know that Jesus shall bless it. Jesus is my, my mountain, my mountain. Well, said I know that Jesus, Jesus is nobody but Jesus is my, my mountain, my mountain. Well, I'm going where the Chilly wind, the chilly winds, they don't blow, yes. Well, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know that Jesus, Jesus, Savior Jesus is my Come on, y'all. Said I know, oh, Jesus, Jesus is, Jesus is in my Well, said I know that Jesus, Jesus is nobody but Jesus is my. Yes, He is. Yes, He is. Well, I'm going where the the chilly wind. Don't y'all wanna go where the chilly wind don't blow? Well, I know I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna. Y'all gonna hide, hide behind the mountain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything will be all right. I'm gonna hide, hide. Well, say hide behind the the mountain, the mountain. Well, said I'm gonna hide behind. Well, say hide behind the Chilly wind, chilly winds, they don't Now I want y'all to do me a favor. I want y'all to tell your neighbor this. Well, say I know, I know that just in case they didn't know. Well, say Jesus is my Put your hands together. Come on. Well, now don't you wanna go? Well, a place where there'll be no crying. God will wipe the tears from your weeping eyes. Yes. Jesus, He'll be there. No more worries, y'all. No more pain. Well, well, I'm going, going. 
together Feeling winds don't blow Yeah, y'all, yeah, y'all I feel see, winds see, I know we're having fun down here on, on Earth sometimes But it's just too much trouble for me, y'all I don't know about y'all Is it too much trouble down here? Well, one day, one day, y'all I'm going wherever No more crying I'm going without chili Chili winds, chili winds, chili winds I'm going well Chili winds The chili winds, they don't blow Y'all can sit down now Well, 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 I'm going to I'm sorry, y'all stood up on y'all own. I'm sorry about that. Well, said I'm gonna hide, hide. Well, yes, say hide behind the. Yeah, can y'all picture that? Well, said I'm gonna. No more worries. Yes, hide behind the mountain. Going where the chilly wind, I'm going where the the chilly wind. One more time, I'm going where the chilly, chilly wind. Those storms of life, they don't belong. Oh. It ought to be. It ought to be easy right now. It ought to be easy right now for you to look at somebody and say, smile. smile. We serve a risen Savior. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Y'all know we have in our children's church today. So if you four to nine years old, go and line up right there behind Sister Sandra Lee. Four to nine. Yeah. Now, if you're 69, that don't include you. I said four to nine. Yeah, my twins gonna come down and take over today. Them my preachers. They just they just waiting in the making. Them my preachers. Yes, sir. Yeah, she wants to go too. Why you gonna why you gonna stop that baby from going? She already acting like her great grandmother. Lord have mercy, Jesus. <laughs> Truly, we have been blessed, boy. You you act like you wanted to sing today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, you 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 excited because faith 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 with child. Well, you you all right with me? <laughs> yeah, he he, he excited. Yeah, truly we're thankful to the great God of heaven Amen. for all of his wonderful blessings. He continued to bless us over and over and over again. Amen. It is something about a good song uh, move the struggles of our lives. It's something about a song that help us get to where we're going to try to get to. Uh, if y'all didn't get that, Quentin got there. Yes, sir, he got there. Yeah, Quentin got there. Quentin got me there. Went and got me that. Matter of fact, he got me so far there. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna bypass part of my lesson, well, and uh, I'm gonna go over where I want y'all to get to, and and we're gonna start from there. And I ain't gonna be long, cause I'm gonna I show you something. I, no, I'm not gonna be long, Bishop. Take your time, uh, preacher. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna help y'all with something. Uh, let me. I'm going to bypass all of this. I'm going to bypass all of this. As, uh, as my grandmama would say, I want to get to the gravy. I want to suck on this pork chop bone. Y'all don't know anything about sucking on pork chop bone. And I want to I wanna take my golden eagle syrup. And I just want to do some sopping. Y'all don't know anything about no sopping. Yeah, I'm going to sop some biscuits. 
I want to, uh, th this is where I want right here. This is where I want. This is where I want. This is, this, this is, this is where I want right here. Because see, after that, you should have want to know how to get connected to God. That's, that's what I want us to do. Just get connected to God and stay connected to God. Is that all right? Uh, don't even get up. James chapter 1 and verses number 21. The Bible says, Wherefore lay aside all filthiness and excessive naughtiness and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul. He said that we ought to be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving our own selves. This lesson is, is entitled going in one ear and out the other. But this morning, I want to bypass all of that. I just want, to, I want, us, I want us to focus right now experiencing the presence of God. Amen. Amen. Experiencing the presence of God. We know that the great God of heaven is always closer to you and I than we are to him. We know that the God that sent his son to march up Calvary's hill and to stretch himself out is a good God and a great God. Amen. But so often we fail to see how that we ought to connect to the great God of heaven. I want to show you how to appreciate the presence of being in the presence of God. And then this lesson is yours. I want to go to James chapter 4. I want to start there, Doc. James chapter 4, verse 7 and verse number 8. When I leave James 4, I want to go to Psalms 46 and verse number 10. And then I want to go to Psalms chapter 100 and verse number 3. I probably want to do verse 1 through 3. And this lesson, it is it. Because I want us to see how that we are to experience the presence of God. When you go through life, and you see that you experience your ups and downs, it ought to be an encouragement to you and I that we know that God is not too far from us. We ought to know that the God that we serve, the God that loved us while we was yet unlovable, is still very nigh to you and I. But we've got to draw close to God. So the Bible said in James chapter 4, beginning at verses number 7. Submit yourselves therefore. He said, submit yourselves therefore. To God. To God. Resist the devil. He said, resist the devil. He will flee from you. And he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God. He said, draw nigh to God. And he will draw nigh to you. And he will draw nigh to you. First of all, we've got to see the first, that we've got to submit ourselves unto God. In other words, we have to remove ourselves and say, God, I am your servant. I need you, Lord, to mold me and shape me in the fashion that you would have me to be molded. So often in life, we want to be just like what we want to be and not like God wants us to be. God want to shape you. God wants to mow you. God got a bigger plan for you than you have for your own self. Amen. But you got to remove self in order to appreciate what God has in store for you. So he says, submit yourself to God. And then he says, resist the devil and the devil will flee from you. He points out that the struggles in life that we have, it's because the devil is close to us. So we've got to resist the devil. When the devil come to you, you got to be like Jesus when he tells Peter, get behind me. Right. You got to tell him to get behind me. And then he says, you've got to draw nigh to God and God will draw nigh to you. In other words, you open up his communication log while you are texting you stop texting and let God work in you and through you through his way. So you've got to read it. You've got to study it. You've got to meditate upon it. That's what he talks about when he says, draw nigh unto him and God will draw nigh unto you. You've got to spend time in the word of God. 
Hold your point there, Doc. Let me go to uh, 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 Psalm, uh, Psalm 46 and verses number 10. Talk to me, preacher. Be still. He said, be still. And know that I am Wait. God. <laughs> we don't see these things. God told Moses to tell Israel when they were faced with the fact there is the Red Sea and there come the Egyptian army. He said, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Amen. Here the psalmist says, stand still. In other words, don't try to outrun God. Amen. Stand still. If you want God to draw nigh to you, that comes a point that you've got to learn how to stand still. You've got to learn how to wait upon God. Let God move you. Amen. Let God direct you. Let God show you the way. But you want to get in head of God and you want to lead God. It doesn't work that way. Right. So what needs to happen is you need to simply tell self, self, can y'all order self? Yeah. Get out of the way. Yeah. Get out of the way. I didn't hear this side. I didn't hear this side. You got to say, self, yeah. get out of the way. So he said, stand still. Talk to me. Be still. Be still. And know that I am God. And know that I am God. I will be exalted among I the nations. I will be exalted among the nations. Among all nations. Wait. You know, everybody is panicking. Just what the world is going to go through. Trump has become president. Well. He's doing things that's unconventional. He's not even allowing the Senate to know what he's doing. Mm -hmm. I say stand still. Amen. I say stand still. Amen. You got to learn how to wait. You had an opportunity to speak, but you didn't go down to the polls and vote. So when you had the opportunity, you didn't take the opportunity. So what you've got to do now is simply be still and let God be God and wait and see what God is going to do. Amen. Let me show you something. Psalms, Psalms 100. Stay where you are. I'm coming back. I'm not finished. Psalms 100. Yeah, I'm coming out. Make a joyful you. noise unto the Lord. I told you I was through. He says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye lands. All ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. He said, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. When you come before God, come before his presence with singing. Wait, wait. You were singing a while ago. You know the angels got up and they were already rejoicing. But that just made them rejoice more because God's ears heard a voice from 2150 Blue Spring Road. It wasn't a text message. It wasn't a call one. This was God, I need you because I'm waiting on you. I'm hiding behind the what? I'm hiding behind the mountain. And I know can't nobody get to me but you because you can't hide from him. So you've got to learn how to come before his presence with singing. Talk to me, Doc. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. He said, know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us. It is he that has made us and not we, not we ourselves. ourselves. Talk to me. We are his people. He said we are his people. And the sheep of his pastor. And the sheep of his pastor. Hold it. If you know anything about a good shepherd, a good shepherd is going to keep his sheep still. They're going to keep them quiet. They're going to keep them protected. Lord, I know you got me. Lord, I know you got me. Amen. Because, see, I've already gone through some storms, and nobody can pull me out 
but you. Amen. And as I go through those storms, I already know that not only did you pull me out, but you were there with me in the storm. Amen. So right now, while I'm having a good day, Lord, while I'm having a good day, Lord, right, while I'm having a good day, Lord, while I'm having a good day, Lord, yes. Lord, right now, while I'm having a good day, yes. let me open up my mouth. Let me sing these old songs of Zion. Let me shout hallelujah. Why, I know you already hear that I'm excited for you. And this is the joy that we ought to always have for God. Amen. This is the joy that we ought to always have for God. Amen. Don't wait until you got a shed a tear right. to call upon him. Go ahead and call up on him while you already got a smile, while you're already excited. Let him know, Lord, I know it's you that send me the good blessings, and I know the devil got me sometimes, but I can put him behind me. All I've got to do is draw nigh to God. Draw nigh to God. Draw nigh to God. Talk to me in Psalms 46. How about verse 10? Come on, talk to me. Be still. He said, be still. And know that I am God. Be still. Know that I am God. I will be exalted. Be among. exalted. Wait, 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 wait. I, I, was, I, was, I was watching an old Madea. And uh, oh, y'all must knew what I was going with there. Somebody told her, they said, uh, peace be still. And she took matters in her own hand. And she went in her purse and she said, see, I got a piece of steel. <laughs> see, a piece of steel means peace be still. That's not what it means. That's not what it means. Now, I know she said that for laughter, but I know somebody took it upon themselves to think, yes, I just got a piece of steel. Because after all, Brother Rogers carry him a piece of steel. Yeah. <laughs> but you got to know how to use a piece of steel. Everything that you go through in life is not meaning that you carry a piece of steel for that. Right. See, you got to know who gives you peace to be still. That's right. And that's why he says, be still. Because the Lord, our God, is God. Amen. Lord, I can be still when I know that you got me. Lord, I can be still when I know that you're still blessing me. Lord, but I, I, you ain't got to bless me no more, Lord. You ain't got to bless me no more. I can be still. Because I, I, I've seen your blessings enough to appreciate the fact I experience your presence every day. I experience God's presence even when it's dark and gloomy on the outside. I'm full of radiance on the inside. Amen. And that's why Paul could say, rejoice, rejoice in the Lord. Again, I say rejoice. Why? Because God fills my presence. Amen. And because God fills my presence, I ought to let the world know that I belong to him. Amen. And because I belong to him, I can go on and shout. I can go on and shout. We, we, we trying to hold this in. Why are we holding it in? Why are we holding it in? Why are you holding it in? Amen. I mean, really, why are you holding it? Amen. Now, I, I, I know some of you. Some of you are just not emotional people. But you know what? God gave us tear ducts for a reason. Amen. God gave us our hands to clap for a reason. Amen. God gave us these smiles for a reason. Amen. And, 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 and if you're going to smile anywhere, smile in the presence of God. Amen. If you're going to shed a tear anywhere, let me shed a tear on this side here. Don't let me go through a bad time and shed a tear. Let me shed some tears of joy, of joy, of joy. Lord, I know last week you shouted and your heart was made to be glad because two precious souls, Obey the gospel of Jesus Christ. Two precious souls. And I believe that someone here this morning is really wanting to put Jesus on in a watery grave of baptism. Because you know that all spiritual blessings are in Jesus. Amen. Ephesians 1 and verses number 3. You want to be the sheep of his pasture.
trust him because you want to be a part of him and you want to experience being in the presence of God. He wants you to draw nigh to him. And the way you draw nigh to him, if you're not a member of the body of Christ, you hear his word. When you hear his word, believe what you have said, what he said. And you repent of your sins and you open up your mouth and confess that Jesus Christ is truly the son of the living God. And go down in a watery grave to have your sins washed away. Jesus, Jesus said, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. And I know what we do. Every Sunday we get to this point and we say to ourselves, I need to go on and do this. But there's too many people here looking at me. There's people looking at you while you sing. Amen. And you don't worry about that. Right. People are going to talk because that's just what they do. Right. They talk. And sometimes we talk about stuff we don't, know how, we don't even have no business even talking about. Right. We don't have all the facts. And we don't have all the information. But we talk anyway. That's why God's word go in one ear and out the other because we spend too much time talking. We got to learn how to lift up our voices and just start singing praises unto God. Let's let us do that because he's worthy, church. He's worthy to be praised. And one of the ways we praise him is by songs and spiritual songs. But right now, somebody ought to be willing to come to Jesus and put Jesus on to wash away their sins and become new creatures in Christ Jesus. We that are members of the body of Christ, let's be truthful with ourselves. We know there could be something that's holding us and our experience with God back. Because sin turns God's face from us. Isaiah 59 verses 1 and 2. Isaiah 60 and verse number 7. We ought to be willing to let Lord have his way. So James says, confess thy faults one to another. Pray ye one for another that you might be healed. He says, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. I need you on your feet. 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 I need you. Because so often, it's here. It's right here. Satan works the hardest. It's right here. So I need you on your feet. Can you tell Satan to get behind you this morning so that you can so that you can give yourself totally over to the Lord? I need you this morning to give you to give yourself totally over to the Lord. Cameron walked off into this building this morning and felt a faint and passed out right there in that hallway. You know you can walk up in here, walk up in here, and not to walk out. Not to walk out. They can carry you out. And we need to take moments like this and use them for our benefit. Because the Lord is working, y'all. He works. He's always on time. Someone here this morning need to put Jesus on in a watery grave of baptism. But you won't move. I need you ready to move this morning. Someone here this morning is a member of the body of Christ. And sin is holding you back. I need you to let it loose. Cut it loose. And let's really experience the presence of God. Come on, song leader. God sent his son. His name is Jesus. They called him Jesus. Let Jesus work on your life. He morning. came to love. Come on to Jesus. Heal and forgive. I know there's someone here this morning. Ought to be willing to come to the Lord. He said yes to the cross. To buy our part. 
an empty grave. An empty grave is there to prove that I say Do you believe that he lives? Do you believe that he lives? Because he lives. He lives. I can face You ought to be willing to come this morning. Give yourself over to the Lord. Because he lives. Let him mold you and shape you. Yes. Oh, Experience the presence of God, God in your life. Because I know. Do you really know? I know. Do you know? I know. He holds yes, he does. the future. He holds the future. The living just you may be because he lives. How sweet to hold a newborn baby and feel the Certain days because he lives, because he lives. Yes, I can face tomorrow because he.
us and life feel the living just will and life feel the the living one more time and Again, we want to thank Brother Rogers for a powerful message. Because of that, we had several to respond to the invitation. We have our sister Patricia Townsend. She's coming asking prayer for forgiveness, for uh, confession of sin. And she's also coming asking prayer for help for Pam Forbes Scrubs. She, uh, she, she's having a heart test uh, this Tuesday, and she's asking prayer for us. So we'll give her an opportunity to make her confession. Good morning, church. How y'all doing? I miss you all. So I asked the Lord to forgive me for not being here in service to get my spiritual food, and I missed it. So I asked him to forgive me, and I need you all to do the same. Amen. Amen. We also, at this time, we have uh, our young sister, Jada Rice. She's coming asking prayer uh, for confession of sin, for asking prayer for herself, for guidance, and for spiritual strength. She said, please pray that I can deal with the evil every day the right way and not the wrong way. Amen. Right. At this time, we'll allow her to make her statement. Amen. We also have our sister Chasia. She's coming asking uh, prayer for a confession of sin and also for spiritual strength. Church, I have sinned, and I repent of my sin, and I ask that you pray for me, and ask that you pray that I live every day to be the person that I want to be, to be the mother that I want to be, and to just, just continue to pray for me for strength. Amen. At this time, we also have our sister, Lucinia Jackson. She's coming asking prayer for herself, for health, guidance, spiritual strength. She's also asking prayer for the Jeanette Drake and family. And also for the family, uh, for the Tuck family, upon the death of Connie Tuck, also for spiritual guidance and, and strength for those. She's also uh, having to go through several tests to check for uh, clear health of cancer and hypertension. So she's asking for, uh, with faith in God and, uh, and, and not claiming the illness, but with God, all things are possible. She's so asking for prayer for the Drake and Tuck family in the passing of their loved one. We also have a prayer request for LaShondra Humphrey. She's coming asking prayer for herself, for guidance and spiritual strength. Also for uh, Stephen Collier for guidance and spiritual strength. And also she would like to make, uh, make a confession of sin, so we allow her to make that statement now. Good morning. Um, I'd like to thank everybody for a lot of things. I haven't been to church in so long. But I thank everybody for praying for me and just keeping me in their prayers. I go through a lot every day. My baby has autism, and it's a battle. And I just thank you guys for the prayers. And for, I thank God for forgiving me for doing a lot of things that I know I shouldn't do. But I ask for forgiveness every day. And I'm just grateful just to be here. Amen. Amen. We also 
uh, have a prayer request for Adriana Davis. She's asking prayer for uh, spirit of strength as well as traveling grace. She said, please pray for my project that I work on as, a, as the director. We are in litigation for a serious matter and that the verdict works in my client favor. So definitely gonna keep her in our prayers. We also have a pray, uh, prayer request for Sister Michelle Bellios. She's asking prayer for herself for health, guidance, spiritual strength, and also put for her family for health, guidance, and spiritual strength. And we also want to keep Gail and Larry Rice in our prayers upon the uh, illness of their oldest son. Well, you know there's nothing too hard for God, so let us keep let us keep this family in our prayers, not only in our prayers, but let's check on them and, and make sure everything is all right. Let us all go to the Lord and word of prayer. Oh, Lord, our Lord, our excellence is our name in all of the earth. Father, we thank you so much for this day. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for this avenue of prayer that we can uh, express our needs and desires to you. And we are thankful, Father, that you're able, that you have said in your word that if, if you, that you will hear us if we are in walking in the light. We pray, Father, now for those who have made prayer requests. We have several who have, who have, who have said they have um, committed that they have sinned. We realize we all have sinned and fallen short of your glory. And we uh, thank you for the avenue of forgiveness. We pray for Sister Pat Townsend. We pray for her in a mighty special way. We also pray for Pam Scruggs. We also pray for her as she's dealing with uh, uh, health issues. And we also pray that you would just continue to bless her and help uh, uh, Pat to continue to walk in your word. We also pray for Jada. We pray for her for forgiveness. We also pray for her father to be strong and help her father to be an example to those she come in contact with. Father, we also pray that you would help her to deal with the, uh, with the issues of life, that give her wisdom, Father, that she can withstand against the wiles of the devil. And we just pray that you would just bless this young heart and help her father to, to be productive in this life. We also pray for LaShondra Humphrey, Father. We pray for her for forgiveness as well. We also pray for her for guidance and pray for her, her, her child, Father, who's dealing with autism. We pray that you would just give her patience and pray, Father, that you would just help her to overcome the obstacles that she's been facing in her life. We pray that you would continue to bless her. I also pray for Stephen Kyle, pray for him for strength and guidance. Father, we also pray that you would continue to be with our sister Charcia. We pray, Father, that you would just bless her, help her to be strong, Father, and pray that you would just forgive her, Father, of the wrongs that she's done, and pray that you would, she would just give her strength to, to keep fighting the good fight of faith. Father, we also pray for Michelle Bellews. We ask you, Father, to bless her. Bless her help, Father. Give her good uh, guidance and give her spiritual strength. We also pray for her family. We pray for them as well. Pray that you will continue to bless her. Father, we also pray for Adriana. We ask you, Father, to bless her. Give her traveling grace. We also pray, Father, that you would just continue to give her spiritual strength. We also pray for her, Father, as the, on the project that she's working on. We pray that you would bless them, Father, that they, uh, that, that the uh, decision would, would come in their favor. And we just pray that you would just continue to bless, bless her in a mighty special way. We also pray for Lucinia. We ask you, Father, to bless her. Pray that you would just bless us help. Pray for the test that she was undergoing. We pray things would go come out well with that. We also pray, Father, for the, uh, for the Jeanette Drake and, and family and the Tuck family for the loss of a loved one. We just asking you, Father, to, to pray that you would just help them to overcome. Father, we also pray right now that you would just please be with, the, with Gail and Larry right now as they dealing with the illness of their son. We pray, Father, that things will go well at the uh, emergency room and he will be quickly diagnosed and things will come out. Uh, to, his, to the good. We just thank you now, Father, and praise, praise you right now. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen.
Good morning. We would like to thank Brother Rogers for another very powerful lesson. And I think it's safe to say it is good that we're here. On this day, we come to you now, which is part of the scriptures with the collection. We have scripture coming from 1 Corinthians, the chapter is 16. And it's verses 1 and 2, and it reads, Now concerning the collection for the saints, as I have given orders to the churches of Galatia, so you must do also on the first day of the week, that each one of you lay something aside, storing up as he may prosper, that there be no collections when I come. We have scripture coming from the book of Proverbs, the chapter is three, and I'm going to be reading verses five through verse 10, and it reads, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It will be health to your flesh and strength to your bones. Verse 9, honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all your increase, so your bonds will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with new wine. Let us give thanks for this collection. Heavenly Father, we bow before thee, dear God, with humbleness in our hearts to thank you, dear God, for blessing us to be able to come to your house and to give back a portion of what you have blessed us with. Dear God, we know, Lord, we understand, Heavenly Father, that your blessings are many. And for this, dear God, we want to say thank you. Dear God, we ask you, Heavenly Father, to, at this time, please, to bless the giver. Dear God, we ask you, Heavenly Father, to let us give in a manner which is pleasing in thy sight. Dear God, we ask you now, Heavenly Father, Lord, that we know and we acknowledge, Heavenly Father, that it is not just about the monetary value. Heavenly Father, you give us our health and our strength and our right minds to be able to give back a portion to you. And for this, we want to say thank you. Dear God, we ask you, Heavenly Father, again, please bless this collection. Dear God, we ask you, Heavenly Father, Lord, to please give wisdom to our leadership to use these funds to further your cause. And dear God, we want to say thank you, Lord, and ask this prayer on this day. In the name of your son, Jesus Christ, we do pray and ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus singing, no, not one, no, not one, and none else could hear. All our souls, diseases sing and no, not one sing and no. Well, Jesus knows all about our struggle. Well, and He, he will guide till the day, till the day is done. Well, there's not a friend like the low, like the lowly Jesus. Sing and no, not one. Sing and no, not one. Will and no friend like him is so high, so high and holy. Sing and no, not one. Sing and no, not one. Will and yet no friend is so meek, so meek and lowly. Sing and no, not one. Sing and no. Will not Jesus, he knows all about our struggle. I know that he, he will guide till the day, the day is done. Oh, and there's not a friend like the Lord. 
Like the lonely Jesus singing, no, not one singing, no, not one. We come to a portion of this, which is known as the communion. We ask that you clear your minds and think back to that cruel day. We have scripture coming from the book of Luke, the chapters 22, and I will be reading verses 19 and verse 20, and it reads, and he took bread, gave thanks, and broke it, and gave it to them, saying, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is shed for you. Let us give, we will give thanks for the bread and for the cup. Let us pray for the bread. Heavenly Father, we bow before thee to thank you, dear God, for this bread which represents your son's body. Dear God, Lord, we cannot truly understand the love that you have for us. But dear God, we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for just loving us, Heavenly Father, and having a plan in place through your Son, Jesus. Heavenly Father, we ask you, dear God, to please bless this bread. We ask you, Heavenly Father, to please let us take this bread in a worthy manner. And dear God, help us to reflect back to that cruel day. And dear God, we truly want to say thank you. And dear God, we ask this prayer in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. We do pray and ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Why did my Savior come to earth, earth, and to, to the earth, oh And why did he choose a lowly bird, bird? Is there anyone overlooked? Let us give thanks for the cup. Heavenly Father, it's once again that we approach thy throne of grace and mercy to thank you for this fruit of the vine which represents your son's shed blood. Dear God, we know and we understand, Heavenly Father, that 
there was a time that we were separated from you. But dear God, because of your love and because of your mercy, Heavenly Father, you had a plan in place to reconcile us back to you. And for this, dear God, we want to say thank you. Dear God, we ask you, Heavenly Father, Lord, to please help us to take this fruit of the vine in a worthy manner and help us to reflect back to that cruel day. And once again, dear God, we truly want to say thank you. And dear God, we ask this prayer on this day. In the name of your son, Jesus Christ, we do pray and ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. This concludes this portion of our worship service. We ask that you please pass your cups and your attendance cards to the inside aisles. Thank you, brothers. Good evening. We have visiting with us today. It's uh, Miss Teresa Dees. Miss Dees, how you doing? Good to see you. you. Got your hands full of that. That's that's one of my babies. So that's I. Uh, folks just don't realize I enjoy some kids. I'll be all right. God bless you. Good to see you, uh, Miss Brown. Miss Brown. Okay. Ronald. Brother Clay, he left. Mr. Wilson, man, good to see you. You took off today? Oh, thank you, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. I'm glad you came because I didn't think she was going to let me finally meet you. I appreciate that. I understand, Doc. I do. Now that's my girl, though, so, you know, good to see you, man. God bless you. Matthews, Asia Matthews. What's up, partner? Good to see you. Wonderful smile. God bless you. Joseph. Joseph. I done miss some folks. Crutcher, Crutcher. I got you. How you doing? You like to say anything? I'll send somebody back there with a mic. Take one back there right there, Doc. I think she got something she wants to say. Good morning. Good everybody. morning. Um, I'm just trying to find a church. So I can get baptized and get right with God. Where my y'all? Sister Brasselton, your hands full? No? You take care right now. Life is too serious. I'll be there shortly, but I feel like you can handle this for me. Ms. Crutcher, uh, Sister Brazelton, right there, she coming to you. Tiffany Wilford, how are you doing? Good to see you. I saw this. You know, I know a Tiffany Wilford, and she from Starville, Mississippi. You from Chicago. Okay, then. Thank you for coming. Appreciate David inviting you. Let's see here. Monte, the Montes, how y'all doing? Let me come over here. That's the same group over here? How y'all doing? Good to see you all. Y'all like to say anything? Hello, everybody. <laughs> We're happy to be here. We were blessed by you. Thank you so much. We are a family. Um, our mom, Monette, and my daughters, Melanie and Michelle, we're a family of seven. We are a singing family, but we are blessed to be here, and we love Okay. I'm the one blessed. I'm the one blessed. Thank y'all. 
I got a friend here, and uh, I was waiting on him to call me and tell me, ha, 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 because I told him that uh, I, I, y'all going to teach her first, right? Y'all going straight to the baptism, right? I ain't even took a confession. I ain't even took a confession. Y'all, y'all, I, I want to make sure she get taught. Uh, huh? That's your cousin? So she know. Okay, then I ain't did. I ain't did. Y'all must think I take the confession. I'm sorry. Yeah. I got to do this. I got to do this with the Bible say. Y'all bring it. I didn't know. I didn't know that. The, the, uh, uh, you, so you know the gospel. Oh, come on out here. Let me take this confession. Then. I'm sorry. Miss Crusher, do you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God? Yes, sir. With that confession, it sent him to Calvary to die for the sins of the world. Through baptism and faith for living, he can give you eternal home. God bless you. You can take her now. You can take her now. I just wanted to make sure. Uh, all right, then. Y'all know we got to. Don't y'all laugh at me. This serious. Scipio. Is he Scipio here? You don't think he here? Let me tell y'all, my, my friend didn't call me and tell me the other night that North Carolina won. And I couldn't believe, I couldn't believe he ain't, he ain't took a stab at me all morning long. And then he acted like he's he not even, I'm even talking to him over there, but that's all right. That's all right. Uh, have we heard anything from uh, the Rice family? Okay. Uh, I, need to, I need to go make a call. To see if I can get in, get something. Yes, sir. You, what you hear, baby? You still waiting on the doctor? Okay, all right. So please keep this family in prayer. Uh, my wife had to leave. She's not mad at me. I know somebody quick to say she must have been mad at Brother Rock. Now they got different things going on today. Y'all know how Sundays are. Uh, uh, her niece. Yeah, what they say, uh, she's trying to become an AKA or she's becoming an AKA today, uh, something. Uh, they told me they, I had to be somewhere tonight at 730. I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about it. So we're going to do what we got to do, keep this family in prayer. Uh, Bishop, you got something? Yeah, let Mookie go first. All right, come on, Mookie. Uh, we're going to have the uh, practice for the youth group right after service. Uh, not going to be a, a long practice, but uh, we're going to have a practice. So if any of y'all got any youth, even if they can't, they, they don't make it this practice, uh, I'm going to announce the next practice. Just bring them on and let us uh, let us work with them, if y'all mind. Amen. Amen. Also, um, Mario has something concerning our e -op. Come on, Doc. We, um, we're trying to get this tech committee up and going, and one of the missions is trying to get social media. And um, um, we have YouTube, we have Twitter, and we have Facebook. And we have Instagram. And we're trying to get those all out to everybody. So the handling, I need the announcement so I can see which, what it is. I think it's BS, BSRCOC2 for both Instagram and Twitter, and I think for YouTube channel is Blue Springs Road, capital C, lowercase O, capital C. Just so everybody can know. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Okay. Also, the uh, next next Saturday we're having the uh, we're having the uh, Easter egg hunt for the twelve and under, for the twelve and under. So for next Saturday for the Easter egg hunt. Also. Um, 15 and under tomorrow, free haircuts at Black Pearl Beauty, Beauty Salon, 15 and, be, and below. Don't go in there 25 and think you're going to get a haircut. They can get a haircut, it just won't be free. Y'all, yeah. I uh, have to forgive me. I, I didn't look at the calendar a year in advance, and this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to take things only if people let me know a year in advance. Um, I'm scheduled in Jasper, Alabama, uh, next Lord's Day. And I promise you, I didn't know it was Easter. But I got Liddell coming. 
I figured if I got a singing preacher come up in here, y'all be all right. All right, so y'all come on out here and uh, let's have a great time. I'll be down there in Jasper trying to uh, preach the gospel. Yes, ma'am. The latest meeting. Yes, the latest meeting is directly after service today, and the brothers are going to still try to do the training session. Right, Brother Milton? Huh? Room 107. Room 107. Are we overlooking anything? Sister Petty, Sister Petty, tell uh, uh, our Brother John that we continue to pray for him. We know there's a lot going on. And but tell him don't lose his way to the church house, all right? I know you will. I know you will. I know you will. Are we overlooking anything? Brother, you did a wonderful job today. A wonderful job. Give him a hand, Joe. Give him a hand. Give him a hand. Keep Sister Kimber in prayer. She's recovering from surgery. Uh, reach out to her. And uh, keep Sister Palmer in prayer. That was her grandson. And uh, you, you never know what's really going on in a person's mind. And she's, she's very private, but still reach out to her, all right? And if there's nothing else, we commend you to God in the word of his grace. May he continue to hold you in the hall of his hand. Don't leave before the baptism, all right? I'm just going back in and trying to make a call right fast, all right? God bless. Come on, bro, sing. It's in my veins, it's in my veins, it's in my veins, oh, it's in my veins. While the blood is running warm, it's in my veins, oh, it's in my veins. You know it's in my veins, it's in my veins, yes, in my veins, yeah. While the blood, while the blood is running, running warm in my veins, oh, it's in my veins. Pray with me, please. Our Father in heaven, it's once more we come thanking you for allowing us to see the end of another Sunday's worship. But Father, let that worship never end in us. Let it go on and on and on. And just keep on blessing us, Lord. We pray now that you would forgive us of our sins. Give us safe passage as we prepare to leave this place. It's in your son Jesus' name we pray and ask it all. Amen. Uh, if you got a little minute, they they coming down now, if y'all don't mind. We also, we also have food for the college students and visitors. By the authority of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I baptize this precious soul in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit for the remission of her sin. What can glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah, since I lay my, my, my burdens down, with glory, glory, hallelujah, hallelujah, yeah, yeah, since I lay my, my burdens down.
church with me. Uh, you been been many of the service going through your your children? Yeah. Classroom 8. Hey, Courtney.